Welcome to Mordor, land of brushes and paint. Yes. Welcome Reaper fans. Today we are doing the Guardian Dragon. This is an epic classic miniature. This is from Jason Webb, who is one of my favorite all-time sculptors. Just he is the bomb. He does classic fantastic miniatures. Now this is a huge multi-part kit which I am now going to put together. It's from the Legends line. Absolutely beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll come back once I've got him all built and then we can go through the painting process. Okay, so here is the Guardian Dragon on its base. This is a 75mm baseball space, and I'm going to be honest with you, I had some really serious issues with the dragon, and I'm going to show you the reasons why now. I even pinned the dragon, and it still had the same problem. Now, this dragon is a multi-part kit, and this section here, this section is separate from the tail, and the main body. Now what I did, I tried to put pins in these sections here, but what was happening was even after super gluing and putting the pieces together, the miniature was too top heavy, so kept on snapping here or here. So what I've done is I had to add some form of support for this dragon. So I found some old um, Herstart pillars I made and what I've done is I have trimmed them down to size and I have stuck the dragon's hands to those pillars as you can see. Now that's given me the support I need for the back just here. Now this miniature is very heavy and that's the reason why it's breaking because all that stress is just on this back section here now it wouldn't be so bad if it was just the tail but because it had two parts I don't know why they made it in two parts but because it had the two parts it kept on breaking away now it's all good and I can carry on my painting and it's also worked out to be a very nice base the guardian dragon looks like he's coming through two pillars and I've left that on there I'll add some sand to the base I'll give this a primer coat and we'll come back and start painting but there we are um if you purchase this mini maybe it's just me and i've had some uh mistakes with this miniature um i don't know but um just be warned that this section here was very difficult and it would not hold the weight even with um uh, supports uh, so with pinning sorry uh, so using those pillars works very well to give you that added support to this miniature because it's very very top heavy you can see how far forward it goes there you know well that's all that stress all that weight here all the, all the weight of that body and the wings is all on this, these two tail joints so just just a little warning for anybody to purchase this miniature okay so i've added some gravel i have put on some gray primer and some green for the dragon what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go straight into the ink washes i'm going to add some black over the gray and i'm going to put brown all over the green dragon and then a case of simple dry brushing picking up those details but i'll come back once i get to that stage for the uh, dragon skin today i've been using uh, cat's eye green and some alien goo for all the uh, the skin tone effects so I've dry brushed them on on layers and that looks fantastic now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off the base I'm gonna add all the details to this miniature and then I'll come back and show you how the finished miniature came out it's a very simple paint um, with the skin tones you've got that dark skin tone dry brush on the green and then I added the alien goo as a highlight and that's all we need to do for that skin looks awesome there we go for the base of the dragon I've gone for some nice little bushy type effects now what I'm using is lichen you can get this from your model shops I think I've said it right lichen I don't know mm. 
Um, <laughs> I keep getting them mixed up with lichen, which is a werewolf. But there we are. Anyway, getting back to the subject. Um, this is what you can get for your model shops. You normally get them for your model train sets. Um, you just break off a little chunk, put some PVA glue around your miniature like I've done there, and stick on your little bushes. It does take a while for it to dry, so you can give it a little prod and uh, put it on top of the radiator if you want to speed it up. Uh, but it will dry and it will stick very well all your bits to your base. So there we are, that's how I do my little base for this one. And you can use this stuff for all sorts of your miniatures, you know, for your battles. Put it on your tabletop games, everything. It's very good stuff and it's not expensive. And you can even go out and if you go for walks, not at the minute because of this horrible virus, but when you can go for a walk, you can pick all this moss up from all around the woods and areas and it works fantastically well. So here is the finished Guardian Dragon, absolutely beautiful miniature. I had a few hiccups at the beginning with uh, the base and uh, making the back strong enough to support the miniature, but it's all worked out fantastic in the end. And actually adding these pillars has made it that bit extra special, so I'm really happy how this turned out. So there we are, this is the Guardian Dragon by Reaper Miniatures. If you enjoy what I do, then please hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel, then please become a patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time. Sleep well, dream of evil paintbrushes. <laughs>